Okay, the first thing that you have to do to make this old record play, this is an old record from 1947. It's got a whole bunch of scratches on it. Is you have to clean this record. Because you want to get as much of the grime and crud out of the record as you possibly can. Watch my video on how to clean a record. And you can clean this record yourself and get all the junk out of it before you try to play it. I'm going to show you how to play this record through the scratches and skips that you'll hardly even notice once you make this tool out of Gorilla Tape. So what you want to do Pull off a little Gorilla Tape. And this is the really thick stuff. Alright, I think that's about four inches wide. So, you want to take a piece, it's about what, inch and a half, something like that, inch and three quarters. You pull some back about seven or eight inches, nine inches, whatever. Alright, this piece is gonna be a weight. So you want to take this piece and you're gonna roll it back on itself, sticky side out. Doesn't have to be perfect. So it's just a weight. It's it's actually it's very lightweight that you're gonna put on top of your your record stylus, the head of your record needle. Okay, just set that aside somewhere. All right, and the other part we're going to just leave it the same length. This time we're going to go sticky side in, and we're going to then give it a fold. Then we're going to give it another fold. And you want one end to be turned just a little bit. You want this end to be kind of kind of flat. You want this end to be turned just a little bit. You want the longest part of it to be kind of straight. Doesn't have to be perfect. But these two devices used correctly will make this old scratched record play. By the way, this record is for sale. Check my description on this video and I'll leave you a link to my eBay store where you can go in and buy this record or there's a bunch of records on there usually and other audio, media, film related stuff, old cameras, all kinds of stuff like that. Old Super 8 players, stuff like that. Okay, this is just a really inexpensive little uh, modern record player. You can see there's our our uh, record that we cleaned, <clears throat> and see how nice and shiny it is. Okay, this is our little weight. I'm gonna put it right here on top of this. Okay, 
this little this little arm that holds the stylus and the needle and all of that you know whatever you want to call it and not only will this stop it from skipping in a lot of cases you play it a couple of times using this method of stopping the skip uh, and it will straighten the record out and it'll it won't skip anymore the needle up a little bit on the record and you can see I've got the piece of tape from the Gorilla Tape on here as a little bit of weight and it's just a tiny tiny bit of weight and this is a little flexible piece that I made with the uh, with the tape and you can see I've got a little twisted end on here and I can hold it I've got this piece kind of straight it's just a little flexible piece and all it's going to do is help me put just a little small amount of push on this needle across this record. So we're going to let it go. And it's going to get to that place where it skips. And we're just going to give it just a tiny, tiny bit. back at a place where it skips normally. It's almost there and I'm going to take my little flexible piece and I'm going to give it just a little bit of encouragement. Just a little bit of pressure. Not much at all. I'm going to help it kind of get through that skip spot. goes away it's gonna have a little tick where it used to skip but it'll just go right through it
several times on this record it, even though it's got a lot of scratches in it all the skips are pretty much gone side one won't even skip anymore